so discrimination is like humidity. You know humidity is when it's so hot that you're just wet, sweating everywhere. It's humid, it's, it's sultry, it's horrible. So discrimination is like humidity. You can't see it, but you can feel it. I think a lot of people in our society have stereotypes and more negative stereotypes about teenagers in general. And I would just hope that the people in the community, and adults especially, that we give teenagers and give these students a chance. There are many misunderstandings about the youth at Marin County Community School. The idea for this video was to find a way to share different perspectives of our school with the greater community. This project seeks to expand awareness and foster an appreciation for the diverse experiences of the youth as they struggle to graduate and stay hopeful about their futures. This program here, there, it really was new. But what I knew was that I didn't want it to be a place that people said, oh my God, I don't want my kid to go there. What I heard was that they got kicked out of every other school and this was the only place that they could be, the last, sort of the last resort school that they could go to in Marin. And I sort of got the feeling that these students were gonna be a lot tougher and sort of maybe more intimidating. The talk on the street or the outside community is, that, you know, that it's, there's fights there all the time, that all the gang guys are there, that it's really harsh, that people are really mean. So it's almost like a sentence. If you're told that you're going to county, you've already been told you failed. My first day subbing here, I remember one of the kids saying to me, aren't you afraid of us? And I just looked at him like he was crazy and I just said, no. So I didn't have a perception of county community. I, my, my perception grew as I became more experienced here. Because we have this tutoring program, uh, through Dominican at County, a lot of DU students end up going to County and tutoring and working one-on-one -on -one with the students there. Sometimes DU students will go in there thinking that they're going to help these kids and they're going to do something really great and feel really good about it. And they come away from this experience really understanding that these kids have actually helped them. It's more of a, I learn from them, they learn from me. We're exchanging knowledge, like my personal attributes that I picked up from this class, you know, you can't just pick up a book and learn that, you know, so these, you know, kids, these kids taught me something and, you know, hopefully maybe I taught them a few things. I just want to say on a personal note that working at County has kind of made me, I feel, into a slightly better person. I'm more tolerant now and I have to really thank the kids at County for showing me that although you know you can be a bad person in society, you're not really a bad person face to face, so thanks. Every day is a mixture of being really frustrated and being frustrated because of the reputation that this school has as being a dumping ground for bad students and being here every day I know that that's not who these students are. The students who attend County Community are just kids and that it's our collective responsibility to figure out what's going to work for them so that they're successful as well. And I know that they get a bad rap and I'm sure it's for a lot of different factors, but I love that you're bringing attention and light to who they are as people because um, they're part of our community, which means it's all of our responsibility to ensure that they are in a school that works for them and that they're going to end up being successful contributing members of society in the future. Marin County Community School is a place many people know little about. The school provides an opportunity to continue one's education when most resources are not available to students who are often in need, misunderstood, or losing hope. You know, when I started in 1999, I did not get the sense um, at all uh, from the immediate community where County Community School is currently located that it had a, um, a negative view of the school. In fact, because of, I think it's physical location that is tucked away behind a church, I think it had a huge part in that. And from what I can tell from the students I've worked with, that it, 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 once they've landed there, and once they've transitioned there, that it's, it, it has and, and it is a comfortable school setting. So in terms of the, the people surrounding, or the residents uh, who, who reside in that surrounding area, I never heard or, or heard of any complaints of students uh, being a part of their community in a negative way. I would 
first want the community to understand the students a little bit, even beyond the general sort of structure of the school. I think, you know, when people are dealing with, with youth, they often think that you have to be sort of, you have to really police youth, right? That the problem is that, you know, youth don't have enough discipline, they don't have enough rules, and you really have to police them. And I think that, you know, there are some sort of rules and structures that young folks can benefit from, but I think that what a lot of people don't understand is what it's like to be a young person in a situation where, you know, you don't have parents you can rely on, there's addiction going on at home, there's abuse going on at home, there's not a safe place to go to. Given that, that the school has programs that are trying to address all of those things is pretty incredible to me. All of these kids are good kids. They're very, um, very talented, very smart in their own right. Um, but for one reason or another, uh, they've been given or they've been limited to much of uh, what the else of society brings. I thought the school was bad, like filled with kids who were up to no good and stuff. But then, you know, I came here and it's not like that at all. When I got here, it was nothing like I thought it would be. It was, it's not as bad. There were, the teachers help you a lot. My mom has cancer of the liver, hepatitis C, and uh, she is really sick. Uh, this time last year, when I was at Santa Fe High School, was the hardest time of my life ever. It was. It got so bad to where I couldn't go to school, and I had to help her. And so I had 78 absences last year in the second quarter, and there's only like. 85 days in the school, so I missed the whole entire school year, uh, that half. And um, I was helping her. My stepdad had just um, got his foot half cut off because he has diabetes and his foot turned black. I mean, so many different things were just happening so fast. And my mom, she helped a lot in coming to county. It, it really helped. Yeah. Set my uh, I've always have been just so then I've always just, you know, showed them differently or and also people have never really like their thoughts have never really affected me. Like my mom's always telling me that you should like stop paying out to people because other people are talking. But I always tell her like like I don't care if they talk because it's it's their it's my life. Like they're not living my life. They don't help me out in anything. So who are they to judge me? In the past I've lost a lot of like, close people. And I guess now it's just like, like I've been through a lot to know like how life is and stuff. So I just have my own like things like to worry about like to keep me motivated and just stay strong. Like think about the people you care about and try to make them happy. Although the students have individual, their own individual problems and struggles, um, they also have their amazing qualities. They also have the desire to uh, have a good life and to be, to feel like they're needed and productive. The thing about County that people really need to know is that there's an amazing, amazing group of people there who are trying to get through their life and figure out where to take it. And most of them, most of the students at County will find their way and be successful. Um, you are bigger than your challenges. You know, uh, um, all of these labels that you may get, you know, um, at risk, behavioral problem, you know, you know, whatever, whatever uh, label you may get in your challenge or in your struggles to education and life, you're bigger than your um, labels. Don't ever let someone tell you you cannot do it. Don't ever let someone say you cannot do it because you don't need nobody. You don't need anybody to, to pick you up and put you where you want to be. It's all, it's all you. It's all you. I mean, people can help you get there, but all around, it's, it's if you want to do it. Take it serious. Like, it's really it's like a, lot more than a, a lot more important than a lot of people might think. If you don't take school seriously, it's going to be a lot harder to take life after school seriously.
It's not a bad thing. It's not a dead end if you know if you don't have a great home life. It's not a dead end if you don't think that you know your future is all that great. It's not. It's it's a way of looking at things. You figure, okay, well, I've walked through the thorn bush, so now let's keep going. I'll just brush all the thorns off and keep going, and maybe ask someone for advice. The way I used to think about our students was that they, they, they were quite often students who didn't get what they needed in the regular school. And that if we could kind of put a blanket around um, the kids, with, and that blanket is help for their family, help for themselves, help with vocational, help with medical, um, that when they had that nice warm blanket around them, then they could get the skills they needed. I love Alt Ed because of the flexibility that allows me to have with the kids. I can teach pretty much anything I want, anything that I feel is important, and I like to stress character education and social skill building because I feel like the kids in Alt Ed are here for a reason. They're not here because they just want another school. They're here because their traditional schools didn't work for them. So clearly something else has to change. And so we, at, in this school, offer the kids a lot of services and we have smaller classes than a regular school and so we can give the kids attention that they need. And I think that's what they need is they need time and they need interventions from adults. Uh, what we do is to fix breakfast here on Monday through Thursday now. We hope to get Friday in but we aren't there yet. For the past, I think this is our third year. When I started doing the griddle, one of the kids said, wow, I've never seen anybody cook before. We eat out of a box. Thank you. So it makes you feel like you're really making a difference. Everyone likes the breakfast here? Wow, what a compliment. I had a, a, not, a not a difficult time, but I had like, you know, uh, how can I say, uh, unstable youth. And I, when, when I was a teenager, you know, I had, I had problems at school, I had problems at my house, like I was saying, you know, like I grew up with only, only my mom around, and I know I wasn't the perfect uh, kid, you know, as far as doing exactly what my parents wanted to. And I can relate to a lot of kids like me, you know, kids who, who were misunderstood. Kids who don't have both parents at the house, kids who, uh, you know, might not have food in the house, you know, and uh, those are the, the people who I feel like I can touch and we can share our stories and maybe come to a, a point and realize that, you know, life's not that bad, it's what you make it from here on out. And I think the, you know, just a reminder that there isn't a single adult or member of our, you know, school age community that hasn't faced challenges in a variety of ways, right? And so people, when you, when you hear about um, uh, our school and then you hear about what goes on here, how great the program is, and people can relate to themselves. And I mean, I absolutely fell in love with the kids at this school. I just felt like it was my niche. And maybe I'm here because no adult spent time with me when I was a kid, you know, and I got lost. And I don't want my students to feel like they're lost. Each teacher here tries 110%. Each adult here, from campus supervisor to administration, everybody here gives 110%. I think they've had a lot more life experiences than a lot of people and they've dealt with them, and uh, they're trying to help other people come over, you know, their problems. So I think they're pretty real like that. Over the last year and a half, I've learned how um, much the faculty and staff that work there are really committed to working with the kids. With all the different kinds of experiences that the, that the staff has, that I think this, they will can reach the students. Not everyone can reach every student, but the students have a lot of people that they can lean on. Community school is a place where kids, if they want it, can get what they need to be able to be successful. It's truly and genuinely a community. It's a, a, literally in the most, the most literal sense of county community school. There is an atmosphere, an environment 
um, of students and staff alike who are really working towards a common good. So one of the strengths of Cami is that kids come back often to share with us who they are, what they've become, what their life is like. You get to see that their life at County had a positive impact and you wouldn't know that until they come back and share that part with, them, with you. And many of them know that because of their experience at County is why they graduated or why they moved on, that they might not have gotten to where they are today without that experience at County. I have had a couple of friends that have gone through that program. Um, after being in that program, um, I noticed uh, how they matured. Um, they actually graduated because of that program and that wasn't even something that you know was going to be in the future if it wasn't for that program. After I left, um, I worked on getting my high school diploma. I got my GED and I'm now at College of Marin and I'm going to be getting my high school diploma through them and I'm going to be working on my associate's degree and um, I'm just moving forward with my life. County really inspired me to move on and move and keep on doing what I want to do best. It really did. I feel like I can take control more now. You know, back then I felt like I needed someone to push me. Now I feel like I can take that step by myself. I can get her back off the horse and you know, ride all day. Thank you.